Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Buttons down there. Make you, make sure you get uh, signed up for the notifications as well. Uh, today we have a look at a book from Kagero. This is part of their top drawings uh, series. Uh, this one is on HMS Badsworth. Okay, so this is Top Drawing Special Edition, number 69 in the series. This is on the Hunt Class Escort Destroyer HMS Bansworth and text is in Polish and English. Um, as per the others, it's about 50 pages I believe. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually 50 pages. So, uh, let's open it up. Start off with a bit of a history of HMS, well, HMS Badsworth and also the Hunt class in general and a bit about the different should say, versions of the Hunt class that existed. Basically just a short, um, what, three paragraphs on it, um, but enough to give you a background if you don't know much about the Hunt class. And then into an interesting thing I was almost comparing this to the 3D drawings ones. The 3D drawings, we've done reviews of those, so you can have a look, see what they look like. But they're all sort of colour, 3D computer renderings, as if you actually stood on the ship um, and seeing exactly what you'd see. Whereas these, as you can see, is more like uh, drawings, uh, line drawings of what you'll see. And uh, if, you're, if you're building uh, a kit, uh, these, I know for some places these will be more useful than the 3D views the, and conversely sometimes the 3D views might be more useful. Anyway, you can make up your own mind about that one. Um, no scale for this, this is obviously the uh, basically the front half of the ship, the bow and a view there. Notice the little lumps and bumps on the bottom. Same here, view from the same area but from above. Um, starboard side what the ladders look like, um, the bow again from above and port, good views of the Type 285 radars and the rangefinder that's incorporated into the same housing, um, bow again, uh, watertight doors, uh, layout of capstans and anchors and chains on the bow, Two different views of that. Uh, this one's full superstructure, looking from the starboard side and looking from the port side. So really, the line drawings really show up exactly um, where things are and what they look like. This one, more superstructure again. Here's basically the lower part. It's as if this top part here is being cut off and you're just seeing the bottom part. And you see some really nice details such as not sure quite what that is, but uh, that housing there. Um, and again, the sort of lower part of the full superstructure. Uh, first deck and bridge, starboard side. And again, see all the details inside the bridge. Um, the same again from multiple different angles, so you get a really good idea of what goes where and exactly where things are. Here's the uh, aerials, you can see exactly how they're attached. Um, bridge, uh, even better view of the bridge and what's inside there, all the different gauges and the connectors they have to disappear off below the, below the deck. Uh, close up view of the radar again. And look at these in a second. Um, more bridge work. Uh, first deck of four superstructure, so sort of next deck down again. And again, you'll see really nice details. Right in here, there's a couple of pretty big diagrams. So this one is in ordinary paper, this one's in glossy paper. And these are pretty big, so let's think of these. Each one is bigger than a normal piece of paper. I've taken a photograph. Basically these are double-sided, I took a photograph of one side of each and they're on the website, link is under the video. So that's 
half of this. That's basically one two hundred scale line drawings of the ship herself, close-ups of the motor motor cutter on the davit, more views of the ship, uh, depth charge racks and stowage for the spare depth charges, 27 foot whaler, and then on the other side there are loads of views of part like assemblies. So you see at the top left there, depth charge racks, pom-poms, uh, 20 mm olicons inside of the 4 inch turrets. Lengthening further down, we've got the actual guns themselves and more views inside the 4 inch turrets. Luff. Lots of details inside there. So that's one of the sheets. This one is on glossy paper. So I'll just open this up again. And again, we've got. Um, starboard line drawings of the ship. I'm just looking for a scale here. Uh, 144th scale. Um, so this will be. So we go. There we go. That probably not extends off the screen a bit, but you see what you get. A complete uh, 144th scale. Uh, port starboard and above views, fore and aft views, lots of aerials uh, and wires to attach. And on the other side, the same thing in colour. So from that you can see exactly what should be coloured what, and some really nice views there, uh, port and starboard, and so on and so forth. So those are pretty neat actually. I'll just put those underneath there. Back to the drawings. Um, there's all of these, there's no scale to them. Um, but with the big diagrams in 1 200th and 1 44th, you could actually easily put dimensions to things. So, a CERN superstructure with the 4 inch turret on top of it at the very top. There's the detail inside there. Um, the same views of the same area from four different directions. And then we get into uh, the very stern of the ship, um, all the depth charges at the back, and the little derricks for um, lifting the def depth charges around. And there's same di same area, different view, same area, third view, and same area. Fourth view. So you get all these different areas from four different directions, so you can pick up absolutely every detail, even down to little things like that on the deck. Um, close up of the Thornycroft Mark II depth charge thrower there. Um, this is how the spare depth charges were stored on the deck. got again um, basically the stern part of the ship including uh, life rafts on their stands same view again square life rafts deck hatches electric winch close-up views of different sort of assemblies um, midships four views from four different areas the Pom pom in the middle there, two ships, boats, the funnel. And then the last one is views of basically the backup maneuvering station. So if the bridge was hit, this was where you could also steer the ship from here. And the searchlight on the top there. And some more close ups of different assemblies. So, um, All the different numbers of pages. Um, I'm actually looking, actually, there is uh, more like 2620 
seven pages of diagrams in here. Basically everything you might need to know if you're building a hunt class escort destroyer. Um, every view of various parts of the ship is in here. You've got the bigger scale diagrams in 144th and 172nd as well. Um, stick those on the wall while you're building it. So basically everything you'd need is, is in here. And many thanks to Kagero for sending it along for stuff to look at.